Okay kids, in today's video, we're going to be doing the letter C. We'll get this sucker fired right up. We'll get this shot like a friggin' sauna. So, I was finally able to get the backrest on this morning. It's about minus 7 here today, but it's going to start warming up a bit. I got the heater on. I got my heated vest on. It was a bitch to get this back on because I carved that uh, raven in it upside down. Like, the, the bottom, it's kind of, it's not smooth right now because the glue's bumpy on the bottom. But the, this should have been carved the other way, so it was... There's a couple gaps in there. I didn't want really too much gaps because I didn't want to be able to see the screws going in because I use the um, things change. Things change. What else? James, James Rankin, I can't carve a friggin' coffee holder in here. What happened? It was, uh, we were on the live chat the other day when I was epoxy carving and I was bugging James uh, Rankin. Because he said this thing needed a coffee holder. But it's not uh, James Rankin. It was a different James, my buddy from Australia. Anyways, that was pretty funny. I had to go back and read through all the comments because I swore it was him. He swore it wasn't him. Oh, make sure I don't burn myself up with this heater. But yeah, so there's the gap underneath there, Rick. We'll talk about everything later. Um... So messaging Larry Dibbs and just Carve Rob and Evil Rick says that it needs friggin' thicker handles on it. Thicker armrests. So what did I do at 10 o'clock at night last night in my pajamas? I came and took this off, went home, and made, made a template. I don't know if I can get this one off. But yeah, so come on. There you go. So that's not very good. That dowel came off there. I'll have to carve another dowel. But so just carve Rob says what I what I had planned to do was do an epoxy pour a blue river down the um, handles because it matches the story. But then I didn't know if the blue would go with all the other gold stuff. So I uh Oh, he just used epoxy. So I just, um, I thought maybe a gold river. But then just Carve Rob gave me another idea. And I don't know if any of you guys know the C word. I'm not saying it because it's so offensive. But the C word is goes for just Carve Rob today. Yeah, that's, I, I was bugging him this morning. So... <sighs> Now, who remembers this? I'm not going to show you the back. Who remembers this? Eagle. I carved it at Ryan Cook's shop. It's the spy. So, what is Ruth just carved? Rob, say I should carve for the handles? Hold on. I don't want you to see the back. Okay, here's a little glimpse. <laughs> what is just carved? Rob, say I should carve? The spy. 
and that looks pretty native to me if you ask me so oh yeah here's the screws that i used these are timber screws these are expensive but if you guys are putting anything together like say if like uh ryan cook introduced me to these um these things are awesome you can buy them bigger smaller thicker thinner these ones got the big heads on them the washer heads but they're not cheap but that's what i used like right here first of all i did a little pre-hole that i went right in there one two three on each side so now i said okay well that's not bad i can do this i I went home and I traced it out. I'll show you guys pictures right now. So I went home and traced it out. I got carbon paper here. This is like ink carbon paper. Traced the handle out. Then I drew, drew it to uh, where I thought I wanted to draw it to. So that's what I got. So, might as well go like this. Oh, shoot. My back is friggin' tight this morning. So, it will go like this. Let me give you the wider thing here. And this is just to help you guys with your ideas and stuff. So, it will be like that. You can fucking stay there. There. Okay. So, there will be two like that. So I said, oh, then that's fine. I can use thinner board. I can use like a fence board, cedar boards. And Rob's like, no, you got to use thicker boards. So then I got this bullshit here. Now, the grain on this goes this way. It's edge grain. I really don't care. I tell you the truth, I hate this. Uh, I'm not a fan of the cedar. It's too soft. So boom, that will fit there. So what I got to do is cut, cut a piece out. I can make two of these. This is probably like four inches thick. Then I got to trace it out like this. Put this on each piece. Then I'm going to use my bandsaw and cut it out with my bandsaw. That's why I got the heater by the bandsaw to warm it up so the blade don't snap because it's cold. Just Carver Rob says it won't, but I think it might.
Something's gonna kill me. So here's the thing. I was chatting with Discard Rob, I think it was this morning or last night. He was like, you can do it. I know you can do it. And I was like, yeah, I get it. I, I know your deal, Discard Rob. He's, you know, we all have those friends. You can do it, I know you can do it. Because they ain't doing it, so they say that you, they know that you can do it. Because they want to watch you do it, because they ain't doing it. If that makes any sense to you. But the one good thing about uh, these eagle, spy eagle armrest things at this point is I told Just Carve Rob last night, I says, if you guys don't know Just Carve Rob, he's got a YouTube channel. He does lots of whittling. He's a power carver. He does nice car knife carving. I'll leave a link to his channel below. He hasn't made any videos in a while because he's been busy doing life stuff. And Ben Studio on the Lake, my, my two right-hand men, have not been making videos. But, what was I going to say? Stand by. Well, yeah, stand by. It was just car of Rob trying to give me confidence and stuff like that. But, um, the good thing about this is, just carve Rob, I said, oh yeah, well if I'm going to carve the Spy Eagle handles, well then, you got to make more videos. I didn't hear from him, and I said, deal, question mark, deal, question mark, deal, question mark. And, uh, he said, okay. So, but he's got no power right now, and he's using his snow plow. Um, I call him snow plow, just carve Rob. He lives in, uh, Michigan. He, and in Detroit there, I think Michigan's in Detroit. He's neighbors with Eminem. Yeah, Slim Shady. Anyways, here's a little video of just car of Rob using a snow plow. But okay, see the video. Snow plowing. We're doing the snow plowing. You gotta watch out for the motorhome so we don't hit it. It's not ours. Snow plowing across the universe. Have I ever told you how much I hate snow? Personally, I think these handles are too thick. For me to incorporate this into the whole handle. I can't because that way I'd have to bend the wing around, curve the wing around, make it all round, make the head all round. And just it's not made for that this is a 2d carving this would almost be like a almost well 3d carving by the time it was done so what I think I should do is well what I could do is I could cut with the chainsaw along here all right all along there and then take some of this wood away underneath here and leave a platform for the eagle head for the eagle thing I don't know if that will work it's a lot easier than oh you could do it buddy if it was just on a cedar plank yeah no problem boom boom boom, boom done but this thicker board you know I could probably slope these wings down so they come down here these feather things I gotta use a toilet and you guys got a, a friggin' toilet like this, a camper toilet? They're the best. Anyways. Just too thick. That's much better. Well, good thing is, I got this piece. It's not perfect. I got this piece. I can take it home and dremel carve the spy eagle for somebody's wall. Anyways, I'll have two of them. <laughs> okay, so I think that's much better. Way more workable. Now I can work it. So now what we need to do is we need to transfer. You know, these aren't going to be exactly the same. Like this isn't going to be exactly the same as this. 
but I'm trying to my best to make them look somewhat the same. Okay, so now what we do is we transfer this image onto the wood with transfer paper. Um, I sanded this a bit. When you use the transfer paper, it's good that you're. It's good to have a nice sanded wood so you can transfer the image on there nice and clean this isn't that great I, I could even use my orbit sander to sand it but good enough like i'm not building a friggin cadillac i'm building something better than a cadillac i'm building this chair gotta go it wasn't me okay so this is uh carbon paper it's been used lots see i used to do little eagles and stuff like that For a Dremel carving, this is not the paper transfer paper. I want to take a second talk about um, like Facebook and groups and stuff like that, people's opinions. So this is stuff that's been used, but just because you got those thins on lines on there doesn't mean that you can't use it again. So you don't have to. I really should have done this when it was a full piece when I didn't cut it, but that's okay. Um. So say if you, for example, like those eagles that I just showed you on that paper, they're off the internet. These, is this thing filming? These are off the internet. See? Maybe I'll even slap some of those onto the chair. They could be seagulls. But, um, you know, so if you take an image off the internet and you transfer it onto... This is kind of hard. I wish I would have done it when I had it uh, not uh, cut out. But some people might be like, it's cheating. Well, first of all, I drew this my freaking self. But second of all, here's the thing in, in the Carving Fusion group. I don't know if the admins caught on to it, but uh, somebody asked a comment and said, hey, if you uh, use a bandsaw, to block out your little Dremel carving before you Dremel carving. Is that cheating? And some dude said, yes, it's cheating. But it's a lot quicker. Well, since I'm not the admin of the group anymore, this is why I don't like Facebook groups. Um, I said, I don't really try not to reply too much. I got my little private carving fusion group. But uh, I said, it's not cheating. Even friggin' using a bandsaw is carving the wood. Using a skill saw, you're still carving the wood away, in my opinion. So I said, that's not cheating. And we got into a little debate. And he goes, he's basically, who do you think you are? And I said something stupid, LOL. And uh, I wanted to play that game. Do you know who I think I am? But I didn't. But um, he's, he said, what are you, a two-year-old? But no, the, the, and I just, what do you, like, and I guess, whatever. The thing is, transferring images onto the wood for the very beginners, if you want to do it due to, transferring this image onto the wood and carving an eagle or a seagull is not friggin' cheating. Cutting it out with the bandsaw is not friggin' cheating. Those professional chainsaw carvers, even professional Dremel carvers or knife carvers, will uh, use the bandsaw to block out their little caricature figures. Um, for, for, for instance, um, Gene Messer, I believe he does. Doug Linker, I don't, he's a whittler. Um, he, I believe he does, don't hold me to it. Just Carve Rob does. Now, this piece of paper is cardboard. It's a little bit thick to transfer. Make sure you get the right side down when you're doing this. It's a little bit thick to transfer the image on. I don't even need to transfer this on, but I'm just trying to make them the same. So I'm going to have to push really thick. And I should tape it all down so it doesn't move, but whatever. And the pen's not working here. Like the ink's not coming out. for some. So all I'll do is just lift this. Boom. See that? You got the little blue stuff on the wood there. Can you guys see? So then we'll just... I have to push super hard. I think the most important part for me is, I don't know about these eyes, I might use abalone shell.
Did I already do this line here? Just try and get the faces the same, but they're not going to be the same because once I get chainsaw carbon, I'll screw it all up anyways. Because that's what I feel like I'm in a rush. And it's kind of a shame because I haven't rushed on this chair at all. Like I said, if I wanted to, I probably could have done that chair in a day. What's the sense when you're just doing it to have fun? Let's see. Very good. So what's the sense when you're doing it to have fun? I don't know about these lines. But you might as well put it on there. So now you got a left and a right, right? And I was like, well, I got a left and a right. How can I transfer this image? Scribble that out. How can I transfer this image onto the right? Because it's the left. It's the left arm. So what I did is I put this stuff upside down last night. And then I copied the, I, I did this with the pen. And then the image came on this side, like that. So that's all from this stuff. Is it on screen? Does that make sense to you? So now I got a left and a right. So now I can just move this stuff over. There. You can make these lines a bit darker if you want. Well, I don't know. Looks pretty good to me. So there is my left. Now I'll do my right. When I went to driving school, when I was 16 years old, this is maybe where my, I think I was, I think I have that, that autism Asperger's when I was younger. When I went to driving school to learn how to drive a car, I didn't know my lefts from rights. 16 years old. That's when you get your driver's license in Canada. It was back in the day anyways. I don't know about now. But I didn't know my lefts from rights. So the lady had to draw, draw a left, draw a right on each side for me to know which side was left, which side was right. <laughs> Weird. Okay, so there you go. A left, or a left and a right. Now it's time to start carving. And the best thing is, I got these two spare pieces to do a Dremel carving at home. Who knows, maybe I'll even carve one and give it away. Sell it on Etsy. But I'll say one thing right now, like this would be cut off. I gotta cut this off. I'll say one thing right now, this would be a lot more detailed than, than the, this one. These ones are gonna be. Look at, look at the size difference. Like, Look, that one's thicker than that one. I don't care. I don't give a crap. Um, some of you might wonder, how am I going to carve it here? Well, I got my jaw horse here. That's a really good tool to have for the beginner carvers, chainsaw carvers. And uh, I put this board in the back, and I put some screws in the back of the board. So remember, when you do that, don't put the screws too deep into the carving because you don't want to hit the screws with your chainsaw. That sucks. So if you look at this, it's layers. So what I want to do is I want to push that face back, like carve it deeper. And I already got the face drawn on, but that's okay. I can put the, I can cut that face out of that piece of paper that I got, the template. Then I can friggin' transfer it back on. Okay. So, or I could cut deep on the cuts along the eyes and stuff like that. So I know where the cuts are Then I could cut that, uh, Face deeper, so I got to cut along this line right there. Sorry, it's blurry. Cut along that line and then push, curve the face back more. And these wings, they're just gonna. This isn't gonna be the most comfortable. The more depth I put into this, this is just my opinion too, everybody. The more depth that I put into this carving, the more uncomfortable that the armrest is gonna be. So, do I want to put lots of depth? <laughs> This isn't going to be like real style wings. They're just going to be kind of like, look like, try to make them look like wings. 
paint it black and then leave the face wood color. Anyways, I'm not going to be filming too much, but I'm going to be using the new uh, MSA 70C my buddy Chris bought me. Thanks, Chris, out there in the UK. It's got an 8 inch cannon bar, dime tip, and I'm using Carnola oil. Um, it's got a full battery. I should probably be able to. I'm going to do lots of die grinder carving on this too to clean it up a bit. So I'll just cut off the face and show you guys what I mean about pushing it back. I don't want to cut it too deep. Groups, Drew Deep says don't cut it too deep. So I'm going to cut along this line. And then I'm going to cut it right about here. All the way down. So then it pushes the face back. So all this wood's going to be removed. So I got this line on here. So yeah, I can probably cut here. I can cut in there really deep. Nah, I might as well just retransfer it on. I don't care. Now it's just time to relax and carve. So there you can see the block out. See how I pushed that back? I did a cut here, then I went here, and I just went like this. Boom. Boom. It's out. I'm going to leave it like that. I want this to be real soft, like not sharp edges for when it's on, when your arm's resting on it. So now I'm going to take this one off, put it where I can see it, then carve the other one so it's almost the same. Anyways. Okay. Okay, now transfer the face back on to each piece, then uh, start Dremel die grinder carving. Okay, okay, now it's time to start Dremel carving. I still got to cut all these down. <sighs> I think it's best that I just, I can put some music on, uh, turn my die grinders on Dremels and carve it um, like I said this is super soft cedar it's nice for chainsaw carving but for doing detail see that wide grain right there see how I just even push it with my nail and it marks it that is soft cedar so you know like say these these, uh, these are the growth lines, one, two, three, four. That's five years of its life, or four years. That's how fast it grew, so it grew super fast. So see those dark lines, and then you get the light lines? Those dark lines are lighter, or sorry, those dark lines, that would be the winter time where the tree grows slower, and then the summertime, the bigger spaces where the tree grows faster, it's softer. So those darker lines are a lot harder than you get, it's like, it's like carving, put it this way so it's easy to explain. It's like when you get those dark, those little thin dark lines, it's like carving concrete. Then you carve into foam. So it's like your, your Dremel can dip in there really easy, but not concrete and foam, but, you know, hard, hard and soft. Your Dremel dips in easy and it's not good for details, but we'll make the best we can make out of it. Let's see. Oh yeah, this one I already rounded the, oh it's screwed on, hold on a sec. Okay, well, the other one's screwed in, so let's just go like this. Hold it there. Just carve up. Don't forget to tape your template back together, you might want to use it. Yep. Beauty day. It's warming up a lot. Who remembers the green man? I did a quick video on this. I carved it out and I put the moss in there. But I think the moss is growing. Anyways, I just noticed something about this tree. That's cut off right there. If I cut that branch off, it's a perfect little place to put a silly little owl. Yeah, anyways. See? Don't you think that would be a good little place for the little owl? Let's see how the warehouse is doing. I'm just uh, killing time because I don't want to die grinder. Anyways. Just like Mike Tyson said a long time ago in his prime. Sign the contract, big guy! Sign the contract, big guy! 
Start making videos, just carve, Rob. Start making those videos, because I hate carving this theater. I'm gonna burn it, then I'm gonna hit it with the Scotch Strike Reel. Excuse me, I'm just gonna sound it. This is sandpaper I got off a uh, sound thing I got off Amazon. I'm just gonna sound the face to make it a little bit brighter. Then I'm gonna tape the face off, and I'm gonna paint it. Man, dude. That's all I can say, just part broth. Okay, I'll let that dry a bit and I'll paint the other one, then I'll scuff up the, uh, actually, I'm not going to bother scuff. I tweaked my back, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish this. Or Okay, Jesus light, Jesus light. Oh. So, this paint's not completely dry. These have taken a little while to do, that's for sure. These eyes, I didn't really focus too much making them look re realistic. I wanted to, I could uh, carve out, uh, carve this out, drop some abalone shell in there. Oops, see a couple pieces I missed. Yeah, this paint's still tacky. Um, I don't even know if the torch would uh, dry it up. Here's the other one. So there you go. You have a left and a right. Excuse me. You know, the cedar, they came out pretty good considering the cedar that I had to work with. No. I still have to scuff them up. I still have to scuff them up quite a bit. Because, well, they're just too black on that chair. But let me show you. You know what? I'm sorry, everybody. I think I'm going to end this video here. Because, man, my back's tweaked. And I just don't want to overdo it. And I want to take these home and dry them out properly. I want to take these home and dry them out, dry dry that paint off properly. Then I'm going to scuff them up. And then, how about you know it will give you guys one more chance to guess what's on the back of this chair? What did I carve on the back? Some people have been close, but you got to guess the whole package. You got to guess everything I carved on there. You miss something, ain't gonna happen, you ain't gonna win. So I think it's good to let, uh, give everybody one more chance. What did I carve on the back of this chair, Jess Carver, huh? Anyways, I got these done. 
Uh, I'll take them home, let them dry out, and we'll just do a quick, I'll have it finished. I'll pull the chair outside of the tent, I'll have it all together, and um, we'll do the revealing what's on the back. Man, this, I'm not carving, I'm not, I'm not taking these home and carving this shit, not a chance. No. So here it is. The leaves. Here's the eagles. There they are, just carved, Rob, there's one. I don't want to, yeah, the other one's on here. Let's just call her done for the day. So, uh, my back's good tomorrow. I'll come and finish it off and make a quick little five minute video showing you guys the complete chair, total side view. And, um, be well, everybody. Man, I think these, these freaking eagles were the most work I've done on this whole chair. Ah. Besides being a grumpy poopy pants, um, it's been such such a fun project, and I love all you guys' um, ideas what I've carved on the back. But once again, I'll leave the story. It's only a page long. It's a native story from Haida Gwaii, how the raven stole the sun, okay? Anyways, I've already got the raven carved on the front. I already got the cabin carved on the front. I'll leave the story down below in the description. And guess your final guess to win one of my carvings. What did I carve on the back of this slab? And it has to do with the story. Be happy everybody. Stay warm. Carving Fusion. Over and out.